Yeah, hi there. These comments are for Nargis, and if I remember correctly, I sent you a WAV file from my computer and you could not open it. And then you cannot use Voxipop for whatever reason. The Voxipop sometimes doesn't even work at all. The website's not even there. So I'm going to just send you a video. I'll send you the YouTube link to the video. So uh, I just finished listening to part A first of all, right? So that's what I want to comment on right now. So overall, you, you have pretty good intelligibility. I'm going to hear you speak uh, in a little bit uh, more depth here in just a minute. But here are the lessons I think you want to focus on the most. Lesson number 10, 11, 13, 14, 16, 19, 23, and also lesson number 24. So for you Nargis, I would, I'd recommend that you go through all pronunciation lessons, but focus on the ones that I just named in this particular um, video. That's going to be more helpful for you right now. Okay, so let's keep going. My education background is I have a, a doctor degree in physical therapy. Wow, my goodness. A doctorate degree in physical therapy. And I work around 12 years in New York as a physical therapist. And what, let me go back to what you just said. Breathe, breathe, teeth, Wait a minute. Breathe. Sorry, worth, worthy. My education background is I have a, a doctor degree in physical therapy, okay. and I work around 12 years in New York as a physical therapist. I would say I work, not 12, I have worked for 12 years, so I think the present perfect tense, Nargis, works better there than the simple present, right? If you're not sure, go to Google and just put using the simple present and the present perfect tenses in English grammar or how to use the simple present and the present perfect tenses. The important to speak pronunciation I need because of I need to get my California license, physical therapy California license and I need 26 in speaking and overall I need 89. And what do you... Uh, it's going to be tough. You have a lot of pronunciation problems. I'm going to be honest with you. So getting 26 is a process for you. You could be looking at anywhere from three to six months. It just depends on how hard you practice. If you don't speak a lot of English, if you don't talk to people who speak English on a day-to-day on -a -day basis, if you're not watching a lot of movies, if you're not doing those things, it will take you longer. If you do those things, I'm hoping I can help you within the three month period, but I cannot guarantee anything. Because for you, you have a very strong non native speaker accent. Well, proceed from this course, I need to get my required TOEFL score. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, and uh, thank you for doing the uh, pronunciation pretest and for giving me all this information. Um, I think here. The next thing I want to talk about is what's called your intelligibility, and I will include a link into the email that I'm sending you so you can understand more about your intelligibility. Okay, so intelligibility, I think on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 would be high beginner, 7 is a near native speaker. You're not as intelligible as you should be, right? So I'm going to put you at about 3.9 out of 7. I'm going to put you at the intermediate level with your intelligibility. So it is difficult sometimes for me to understand what you're saying. So definitely, you need a lot of practice. What I would do right now is remember that do not send me more than one speaking practice test every 24 hours or... You can do pronunciation practice, but only send me one. It, it comes down to this. You can send me 60 seconds of speaking practice every 24 hours. That's it. Right? I have to do that. I apologize, but I have to do that to keep my course uh, inexpensive. And as you know, uh, I'm a professor here at Cal State University, San Bernardino. I like to help international students, but I have to limit my time. So if you respect my time, I respect yours. Uh, okay, so thank you for doing that, and um, I look forward to hearing you 
for the next few weeks, maybe even the next few months. And you will get to know me and I will get to know you more too.